Hello and welcome to my new video. I'm Vetero Doll and in this video I'm going to be making a 1920s inspired dress again. This time it's going to be more of my usual style of dress um, which is usually pink and sometimes a little touch of black and this video or this dress is going to be that. Um, I'm going to do a little bat wing collar and some spider buttons. It's going to be pretty cute, I hope. Um, not uh, too difficult of a dress, um, but first, here's my sketch. And yes, I know my sketching skills are not that great, but that's okay, you get the idea. Um, so let's get into the video. Alright, so here is all the pieces that I went ahead and cut out already for the dress. Um, you can see the front and back pieces on the bottom. I just used the top piece that I made last time for the front and back of the dress and just added length to it. Um, I made sleeves, I made these uh, pieces that are going to be the side mm, uh, like decoration and it's going to tie in the back and then I made some cuffs for the sleeves as well. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple design. Oh, there's going to be some uh, collar pieces as well. Here's the pattern pieces that I used to make the top uh, and back of the, the front and back of the dress. And I used the sleeve pattern that I made and I just extended it so it would be a long sleeve and I cut out a little slit for the uh, opening for the cuffs. So the cuffs are going to go on here, just like that. Well, not exactly like that, but yeah, that's all I got. So I have my dress cut out and I added a slit for the buttonholes that I'm going to be adding and I sewed the shoulders. First, what I'm going to be doing is the collar because it will be easiest to do when the rest of it is not assembled. So I have sketched out a pattern and I cut it out of the black fabric and I made some interfacing pieces and ironed them on. So I'll be sewing those and attaching this first. All right, so I sewed the seams and cut the seam real short so that it would lay nice and flat when I turn it inside out. Uh, add some notches, it doesn't look great on the inside but when I flip it around it looks like this um, and I think this looks pretty good so I will flip this around and then iron the whole thing. All right I finished sewing the uh, collar onto the neckline and the collar was actually a little too big so I had to um, sew a seam here and cut the edges off and I just ironed it, and, but you can't really see the seam, so that's totally fine. Now I'm going to fold over this edge and sew it along here. That way um, all the edges inside are covered. And yeah, so we're going to be doing that next. <laughs> So the collar is now attached, sewed on, on the inside, so it's all finished. And now I'm going to be adding the button uh, plackets. Uh, what I did was just took a piece of fabric, folded it over, folded it in the middle, and then put it halfway across this line. So half of it has the pink fabric and half of it on the inside does not. And I'm just going to be sewing the edges of both. I'm going to be adding a little detail at the bottom that's going to cover up the uh, unfinished edges at the bottom. And at the top I just folded it over uh, to sew it down to keep it all nice and finished. So. So I've got the uh, pieces sewn onto the front, 
sewn on this side and on this side. Um, now I need to add the buttonholes, which is definitely the part I'm most nervous about. I did some tests um, on this scrap fabric for the buttonholes, and I think it's coming out okay, so I should be able to make the buttonholes on here without a problem, but it definitely makes me nervous. I also made some little buttons here, some covered buttons. I did embroidery on these three, and then I left these two plain so that I would have a little contrast and not uh, too much, you know, fanciness, but I really am happy with how these came out. They're very cute, little tiny spider webs. I'll show you how I made these when I make them for the sleeves, but right now I am going to be doing these buttonholes, and I hope it goes well. Alright, we got buttonholes. They're not a hundred percent perfect, but definitely good enough. So I wanted to add a little detail to the bottom, so I made these little squares. I folded over the edges and ironed it so it would be nice and flat. I'm going to be snipping off the corners and in the inside so there's not excess, but I wanted to show you what it looked like first. And I'm going to be pinning it down. I have a piece for the inside as well, and that will close down the bottom and seal it off and protect the raw edges. And it also just adds a little nice sort of art deco geom geometrical detail to it. So now we've got that bit sewn on, so we're going to be sewing all the buttons on the front here. So the buttons and the buttonholes are all finished. I'm very happy with how it came, this part came out. I think it's looking real cute. I love the little spiderweb buttons. There's still some chalk on here, so I will be washing this section. Um, but first, I'm going to be sewing up the side seams. I'm going to be doing French seams on these. And then once I get started on the... Uh, sleeves I can wash this so then while I'm working on the sleeves this has time to dry so yeah moving on to the side seams the seams are sewn and I ironed them nice and flat so here's how it's looking. Next, I'm uh, gonna cut the edge of the seam and then finish sewing the French seam part of it. All right, the side seams are all finished and now I'm going to be hemming this dress. Uh, I'm just gonna do a hand stitch because that will give a nice finished uh, edge. So yeah, doing that now. Yeah. 
can't happen. So the hem is all finished now, it's looking nice, and we have to deal with the side slits um, in the dress. So you can see I've got a bunch of extra here, and a little slit in the top, so I'm going to be pleating this section down and sewing it onto this. Um, this side is a little short, so I think I'm going to add a little bit more length here, so I have more space to um, pleat down into. And it'll just give a nice pleated side, so yeah. Seams are done on both sides, and I added a little zigzag stitch to prevent fraying and finish the edge. Now I need to iron it uh, flat so that the seam is facing up, and then it's on to the ties. Now I'm making the ties for the side of the dress, so I just have two tubes of fabric. Uh, pointed at this side so you can see this one's the inside and then I flip this one around so this is how this is gonna look. This part is gonna attach to the side and then it will tie in the back. Um, I'm gonna be ironing this and then closing up this end. Hello! So yesterday I had a bit of a problem with the dress. Uh, I had a little spot on the front that was like a little discoloration. I think it was probably from my iron. So I took some uh, like stain remover, laundry detergent, and put it on the spot, left it on for a little while. And when I washed it off, the spot had become lighter. So now there's a spot on the dress that's a little bit lighter than the rest of the dress. Uh, and to be honest, I was very upset about it. Um, I might have cried a little bit. 
Um, the dress is coming out really well and I really like it. Uh, and there's really no way that I can get rid of the spot without redoing the whole thing. But I did figure out a solution. I'm just going to put like a little heart applique on the spot where uh, the discoloration is. And I think that it'll be okay. It's not exactly what I wanted to do. But um, it doesn't look too bad. And I think it's kind of cute. So I'll show you how it looks and what my plan is now. So yeah. So I just wanted to try and show you where the spot is in this area, the lighter spots. It's kind of hard to see just because the lighting and the dress is a very light color already, but it's pretty noticeable in person. I'm just going to use this little heart piece and make it like an applique to cover up the biggest spot and the other spot isn't quite as noticeable. All right, so both of the ties are finished. So now I've got them pinned onto the dress uh, about halfway in between the seam here. I'll just move the pin for a sec so you can see. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sew around the edge here. And not sew past the seam because I want it to be able to tie in the back. Time to start on the sleeves and first I need to do a facing for the uh, openings on the side. So I just cut out some scraps of fabric and pin them over where the opening is and I'm just going to sew it along here and then we'll flip it inside out. So back to the sleeves, I finished the uh, facing for the uh, openings. I just zigzag stitched and then ironed it down and sewed the edge just so it would be nice. And then I sewed the outside, now I'm going to iron it, trim the edge, and then finish up the French seam here. No need to worry about your pre-recorded music tapes being accidentally erased. It can't happen.
so I got the buttons finished and uh, put into place, so now they're actually buttons. Uh, and I started on the cuffs, so I just went ahead and sewed it. Show you the inside. So I've got the loops, just the ends of the loops in there. Sewed it around the edge, turned it inside out, and ironed it. Honestly, making these loops was quite a pain, and I didn't really like doing them. They're not perfect, but um, they're going to be covered up with the buttons, so it's okay. Here's the other one. And now I'm going to be attaching them. <laughs> So I sewed down the edge of the cuffs and I ironed it like this so it would be nice and flat. Uh, so the cuffs look like this. Gonna be going around here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sew this part down and then sew the buttons on by hand. The sleeves are all finished, all got all the buttons sewn on, now I just need to sew the sleeves onto the dress. with how this dress came out. Uh, obviously I was upset that I had got the little spot on my dress and I had to alter my design a little bit and add the heart applique, but I actually pretty much like how the heart applique looks. I think it adds a nice touch of cuteness and takes away from making it look a little too goth because I've got the bat wing collar and the little spider webs. Um, so I think it balances out pretty nicely. The sleeves came out just a little tight, so I might be redoing these or at least taking out the French seam and making a normal seam just to add a little bit extra space. Um, but it's not too uncomfortable. The rest of it is really uncomfortable. I mean, really comfortable. Um, I can move my arms around. I feel kind of like a cartoon character when I'm wearing this outfit. Like... If I had my own cartoon, this is the outfit that I would be wearing. It feels very me, so I really like it. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Um, this is my first time doing buttonholes on the sewing machine in quite a while. Uh, when I first started sewing, I made a button-up shirt, and I had so many problems when I made it. I used a standard pattern that didn't fit me at all, and I had to modify it a lot. And then I had too much fabric in the, like, buttonhole placket area. So I had so many problems uh, trying to put the buttonholes in. 
but I've learned a lot since then. It's been several years and I haven't really done buttonholes since then because I had such a bad experience. But um, I've been learning a lot and I decided it was time to try it again and I'm really happy with how it came out. I didn't have too many problems. Uh, I thought about how to do this dress for weeks. I was thinking about how I wanted to make it and how I wanted to put it together. So it took me a long time to figure that part out, but once I got going, it was not too bad. Uh, I definitely want to make some more button-up shirts. I really like how the collars look on me, especially with my short hair. I think it looks really cute and it's good for coordinating with stuff. So I think I'll be doing some more projects with um, thank you for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time.